Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another beautifully polygonal day here on my procedurally generated community Minecraft server. I'm out here at my ship on top of the main mast here in the crow's nest, thinking about doing some fishing today because there's some things I need. I need to get some mending books. Oh, let me make sure I have my uh, <laughs> outfit on. I do. I got my wings. Yes, I need to get some mending books and possibly put mending on some axes and things. Uh, and uh, possibly get a set of fire army to get armor together because we're probably going to be going into the nether here pretty soon to get some things built in there. I'm thinking about making a gold farm because, frankly, what sense is it to have a big pirate ship, which we presume this to be, and uh, without having some gold, you know, lying about on it. So I need to think about making a, a gold farm, and I'm thinking about making one of those donut ones. Uh, that Snow Crash, I think, makes. I think he's the one most credited for that. Really good one. Nice design. Simple. Super efficient. So I think I'd like to do it. Also, I've also... But then again, there's there's also the thought of putting together, like, a giant radiator of nether gates as well. And going with that option, you know. That might be a task to do. So I'm thinking about those two as the next medium-sized project for the overall large build. But for today, I'm thinking today might be the day that I'm going to come in here and let me s try to get in slowly. Here's our staircase, kind of uh, what we worked on last time. I think it looked uh, looks pretty good, and I decided to keep this little area here. I'll, I'll put, uh, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? Dark oak, that's the word. Fence gates there. And uh, because I don't want to, if you put doors there, it could screw up the mechanics of the farms below and the iron farm over there. So that is why that iron farm over there and that place right there are the only places on the ship that have actual doors and everything else to this point has been, if you can see there, down there, the uh, fence gates. So that's what that's all about. Okay, but down here, I think what I'm going to do is get all of these filled up. Right, I've decided to go with this solid block look here. That should work for me. I'm thinking chickens which should be easy because we have a couple chickens and cows well sheep because sheep are super easy because we got a lot of sheep and they're all real close and of course I did say pig so pig in here and chicken so what did I say chicken sheep cow cow here we'll do cow here and do I have any signs yeah let's do cow here cow and over here we're gonna put Next to cow, let's put sheep. And then next to sheep, let's put pig. And next to pig, let's put chicken. And then that way we'll have everything we need. Now, in order to catch chicken, I don't really need to catch them. I have a chicken coop over there that's probably filled with eggs. I'll just get a bunch of those and launch chickens in here until they're good to go. Uh, will I be able to feed chickens so that they'll have entity cramming happen? Probably still. Uh, once I get these things filled with water, but will they be able to fly out of there? I don't know. That one might be a little bit tight. We'll see what happens. Pig, no problem. I gotta remember what pig eat. What do pig eat? I'm pretty sure those new roots... What are those? Hazelnut roots? What are those? The beet roots, that's it. I think beet roots might be the back data thing for pigs. Or pigs might eat just about anything. I don't know. I'll wave something in front of it. We'll see what happens. Sheep, we know, is wheat. And cows, we know are uh, also wheat. I got a bunch of seeds because, oh, I, I was also thinking another thing a pirate ship, as this is uh, presumed to be, <laughs> oh boy, needs, uh, is a bunch of parrots. So I might have to go several thousand blocks that way, which I think is the closest actual forest, jungle forest biome, excuse me, the jungle biome. And that is where birds might spawn so i need to go need to go see i hope there is so we'll be looking into that in the meantime uh let's see here let's go check and see if we got any eggs and we'll we'll get one checked off look we'll at the easy one done first quote unquote oh come on why do why does my rocket not always fire off i wonder i wonder you know right so let's there it goes what but it wouldn't do it that time what is going on Rotate off of it. Rotate back onto it. Oh, man. 
All right, we'll just skip ahead to here. <clears throat> Let's just, uh, yeah, I landed gracefully because my rockets uh, worked, most definitely worked. Okay, wow, there's already eggs in there. Let's see, well, these guys, there's, if there's water in it, they'll go up to that point. All right, cool. All right, so this works. This one, I'm gonna grab those eggs. There's a whole bunch on top of the hopper, which means that this guy's full. I will take, ugh. I'll take those raw chicken since we're getting started there. That's one, two, three, four, five, and that should take care of the hopper. All right, let's see if these eggs are gonna be enough to get us there. All right, let's do this one more time. Yeah, it worked this time. I mean, it just as well as it did last time. Hold on, here we go. Oh, I still need to do some cleaning up over there too. Alrighty. Position number one, the chicken coop. Okay, come on, chicken. There's a chicken. Oh, did I kill the chicken? I killed the chicken! You gotta be careful not to kill the chicken. No, I didn't. Hey, chicky! Want some seeds? Want some seeds? Come here. Yeah, there's some seeds for you. Get in there. You're so cute. All right, more eggs. Oh, my little chickies. You don't want to go in the hole. All right, little chicky. Here's what I'm going to do. Again, this is supposed to be the easy one. Come here. There you go. All right, that's two little chickies. Oh, three little chickies. Four little chickies. Oh boy. Alright, so this is working a l uh, just as I envisioned. Thank you, Minecraft, for working well <laughs> the first time. Alright, those little chickies. Oh no, they're gonna count against my mob caps. Okay, I'm back. I've got the name tags, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to get them in the corner. And it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to. What if kind of do this for now. Oh, this is not a good idea. I gotta make sure. Boom, boom, boom. Three of them. Uh, I might have put that on the same one. I might have put that one on the same one. All right. I think that's about as good as that's gonna get for now. I kind of spammed it a little bit. So it is what it is. Oops. Boom. Here, and here, and here. All right. So I think that's enough chicken. Basket number one, complete. Welcome back, my friends. As you can see, we found a couple of little piglets. It took a while. I had to go all the way around and go back into some mountains, actually back over there. And there was like four of them. We're all spawned up on cliff faces. So I had to create a staircase up there out of dirt and get them up there. Now let's just make sure nobody falls down any of those holes. Right this way, piggies. Right this way. So pigs apparently like potatoes and carrots. Where did I say I was going to put the pigs? The next one over. Okay. But this is what we're going to do. And you can ride pigs with a carrot on a stick. That's an old adjustment. I don't remember which patch that came down in. Okay, so that's, that's the chickens. Uh, let's do this. Guys, while I'm thinking about it... Um, you and you. Come here. Come on. You want to just uh, scooch on in there, sir? Or madam, as the case may be? Or entity without? Oh, come on. Fall in there. Just got a little nudging to do. A little nudging. Come on. You can get in there. Come on. There. Come on. That should do it. Come on, you. Fall in there already. What if I push them without the food? Maybe they won't want to come back up and get at my food. Oh, come on. Come on. This is a little bit tougher than I remember it being in the past. And the sun's starting to go down. Come on, get in there already. Why do you keep bumping up? Let me just go ahead and get rid of that. And that, and that. There we go. Now fall into that hole! <laughs> All right, so using a quick uh, channel system, I just funneled them in there. And now the pigs are in place. And that is two 
two. Ah, ah, ah. That are finished. I gotta recover that. And I gotta get a trap door there. And I need to put a lever back here. We'll get to that in a moment, but that is two of them done. I've already started feeding these guys so they can start breeding up. And then once they hit the max entity, they'll just... When they grow up, they'll vanquish off the older ones and we'll have raw chicken. Just as we'll start here. Actually, let me go ahead and get these two going. What do we got here? Some potato, I believe, will get it going. Make a baby. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're both... Like, locked in on me. That's ridiculous. Alright, so the whole point of this... Hold on, let me go ahead and show you. <laughs> I guess I should have done that earlier. I think I mentioned it, but... Basically, what's going to go on here is we'll put some water in there. And now up here... Whenever we uh, turn the water on... These guys will start bobbing up and down... In the water. Right? And now we should be able to feed them easier. So that was... Did I get them both now? That's two of them now. We'll turn the water off. Now they'll be down in there. There should be another little guy coming soon. Right? I know I'm not just giving one person hearts. Nope, there he is. There's the little guy. Let's give him a name tag also if we can. Oh boy. Because we want to have some that don't count against the cap, right? Just in case. Uh, oh, they're all disappearing, so I certainly hope I'm not doing that. Alright. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to leave that off. Interesting. Hm. Alright, on to the next one. Which I believe will be... Sheep! Alright, we were able to gather up three sheep. Just uh, kind of right up along here, along the hill. I don't think any of them are members of the flock, they are not. But uh, I did find, while I was out looking for cows, kind of scouting out cows because there weren't any right here. And I think I have one down below deck still, but I kind of want to keep him there. While I was scouting cows, on the other side of that mountain, right, were like six or seven of my flock sheep of multiple colors. Like they had all gotten out and climbed up and over and gone back into there for some reason. So they're like way over there. They've migrated quite a ways away. So if somebody happens to run into them, that might be kind of funny to see how they're like, what are these sheep doing all the way over here? Named sheep so far away. I think Dr. Connor's place was over there. So uh, that might have to be what he does. Uh, or if he ever comes back, I hope he does. Come check it out. People get busy, you know. All right, so I've got these three sheep, and you got to be careful with the sheep because they, they lose interest if you don't... Uh, Keep a close eye on them as you're going along. They definitely lose interest in your food. Because there's grass everywhere. They don't need your wheat. There's plenty of wheat. <laughs> why, why would they care about that? Alright, so let's see if I can get any of them to fall into the hole. Alright, maybe. Oh boy. Oh, nope. See, I think it's going to be just like before. Where they're going to want to fall in, but they're not going to. Alright, so... Let me do a little bit more adjustment stuff, and we'll get these sheep in that pen. Okay, so I've managed to get three of the sheep in here, and I've gone ahead and bred them up once. So let's see if here should work. Oh, boy. Why? Why is it like that? Get in there. All right, so... What's going on here? Do I need to get rid of the pit trap there? Possibly. Possibly. Let's go ahead and do that. Yep, there he goes. Alright, so that sheep. And let me try to, now that I know they're in there. There you go, that guy, and a little dude. I don't think any of you guys are actually flock sheep, but... You are now. Alright, little guy. In you go. Boom. Alright. One more pin down. And now for the last one. Cow. 
As you can see, my friends, we've got the last, well, the second cow I need for this adventure. No, I don't want him to follow around. The one time he follows. Cows are kind of weird. Sometimes they, um, they don't do what you would expect them to, we'll say. <laughs> you know, you'd expect them to follow you with, you've got that weed in your hand that they're going to follow you as long as you have it, but they lose interest sometimes, and, you know, I guess they're cows. What are you going to do? Come on, get over there and fall in. All right, now get over there and fall in. That shouldn't drown them. Shouldn't, I say. All right. There we go. That's two cows into the pen. Now to get these guys all bred up so that they start hitting capacity, maximum entity cramming, and it starts yielding some food for me. We've already started it down there with the chickens and the pigs and the sheep, and now we've got some cows. Flock sheep cows, for those of you who are concerned about that. All right, let's see. That's that guy. Let's get that guy in too. I think that's both of them now. Kind of looks like it. Yeah, let's just spam it in there. And let's feed them. Why not? You know, get them started on this whole thing. Oh, I need to get them bobbing up and down in the water first. All right, let me put on some finishing touches, get these numbers all the way up, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Welcome back, my friends, and as you can see, all of the coops are pretty much full. The pigs are there, the sheep are there, the chicken are there, the cows still have a little bit further to go. But once they start vanquishing, we'll get some raw beef and leather in here. The sheep have already started, so we'll get some white wool in addition to the raw mutton that they'll be dropping. The pigs will be dropping the raw pork chop, and then, of course, the chicken will be dropping feathers now, and eggs, and raw chicken. Now, what's going on up here is pretty straightforward. Let me go ahead and turn this on so we can see what's up. Uh, I just filled these up. by I actually changed these, okay? So now, instead of being on the block, they're on this upper piece. But this switch, because of the way observer blocks work, this switch will actually power it. So when I flip it, it'll open, and when the power is gone, it'll close. Or when this depowers, this will close. So it's pretty convenient. Bam that now I can do this and give these guys a bunch of seed and hope none of them pop out, but every now and again one of them does. <laughs> I can just pop this open and try to trick them all into coming, which they tend to do, because they're little chickens, they're not too bright. All right, and then these guys, give them some potatoes or carrots, I suppose, would also work. Just getting their numbers up. All the while, this is also going to be giving you experience. If that's something you need on your survivor server, which I need. This is a communal server. It's not that big of a deal. If anything were to go wrong, I'd holler at somebody to come help me. But we also have a ton of extra material lying around. But if you were on a survivor world, maybe not so much. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. And then we'll turn it off. Those guys will get that done. And while we've been working on this and doing a little AFK sessions up at the AFK fish farm and built into the mast up at, uh, in the uh, crow's nest, we have been building up a supply of gunpowder, which has afforded us the opportunity to have a really cool cannon right here. So I wanted to show you guys this because it's been a while since I've shown anybody. Light it up. Go up on deck. Boom! That is awesome! At least I think it's awesome. And if you think it's awesome, then by all means, give me a thumbs up. And if you really liked what you saw today, then by all means, please do consider subscribing because I am out of time and I've got to go. I'm going to do a little bit uh, more detailing around those things there, and I'm going to get uh, that back wall cleared up, back behind my shoulder there. And we'll think about what we're going to do for the next episode because the ship is almost done. It might be time to start thinking about building around that mountain which I was thinking about doing once upon a time. We'll see. I don't know. But if you'd like to see that, then by all means, do come back again. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.